What's up guys, my name is TechNumber here for Troubleshoot and today I'll be showing you how to install the new Microsoft Edge beta. I'm pretty sure it's still in beta, which is the new version of Edge, which is built on Chromium, which is the same as Google Chrome. Why exactly you'd want to install this besides Google Chrome, I wouldn't exactly know. However, if you want to experiment and give it a try, why not? Basically, all you need to do is head across to the link in the description down below, which will take you to microsoft.com slash n hyphen us slash edge, and you'll be presented with this page over here. Hitting the arrow next to the drop down, you can download for Windows 8, 7, Mac, iOS, and Android, as well as Windows 10 by clicking the big blue button at the very top. If we scroll down, we get these download options yet again, Windows, Mac OS, iOS, which we can enter a phone number or an email to send it to, or hit download from the App Store. And the same is said for the Android, phone, email, and the direct link to the App Store. Then we have some information on privacy, browse smarter, not harder, earn while you search, which I don't completely understand, and ready for business, saying, hey, you should come and use our browser instead of one of the other ones. So let's go ahead and hit the download button and see what this is all about. You can, of course, read through the license terms, accept and download, and we'll wait for this to finish. All you need to do is hit run, and it'll open up the one megabyte installer, which will download the rest of Chromium and install the new Edge browser. So I'll hit yes when I asked for admin, and it simply downloads Microsoft Edge. So I'll wait for this to finish. There we go. We can hit close and continue. And after it finishes installing, you'll see the Microsoft Edge icon was replaced with this new Edge browser icon. And we have the same one on our desktop, which I can't show you because I can't move this window currently. Let's wait for this little intro animation to finish so we can go ahead and continue with what we were doing. Get started. You can sign into sync data with Google, but I'll skip this for now. Move it across. There's the icon on our desktop, the Microsoft Edge icon. Either way, this is mostly the same as Google Chrome. We have the same options up here extensions to install extensions from the Microsoft Store or I think the Google Store. Heading across to the Google Chrome Web Store, you can see you can now add extensions from the Chrome Web Store to Microsoft Edge. So we'll say allow extensions from other stores, hit allow, and it'll allow us to add them from the Chrome Web Store instead of just from the Microsoft Store. So I'll go ahead and search for my own plugin. I'll go ahead and hit add to Chrome, add extension, and you should see it pop up in the very top right once it's done installing. And there it is. Cool. So now we have Chrome extensions running inside of Microsoft Edge. And if you'd like, you can also check the Microsoft Store using this link over here and download some plugins from this page over here, microsoftedge.microsoft.com. Though for now, I'd much prefer using the Google Chrome extension store, just because I think it's a little bit more fledged out than a beta. However, if you want to help Microsoft get this better, then of course you should be using this and sending feedback when you need to. Anyways, that's about it. We now basically have another version of Chrome on our computer, which is the new Microsoft Edge. As for what kind of enhancements you get over the normal Chrome, I'm not exactly sure. However, it's here for you to mess around with. Anyways, that's about it. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Techno, here for Troubleshoot. I hope this video helped you, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.